Hi everyone, um, I'm Stacey and I'll be running the Listen, Love, Learn sessions each week for the quad. So each session is a chance for you to get creative with your little ones, have a bit of fun and also log on and have a chat to some other parents as well. So I have a, a little girl, she's 16 months old, so hopefully you'll get to meet her at some point as well. So this week we were getting to know each other and doing some simple fun Halloween themed activities. So we had a little look at this book. This is Megan Mogg. So lots of you may have seen this before, may have read the story. If you have, you might remember that Meg the Witch goes out for Halloween with her other witch friends and they end up casting a spell in her cauldron. So when they all get together, they all put different things in their cauldron. So you can see there, we've got a beetle, a worm and a bat. So what we were doing today is creating our own magical cauldrons to cast our own spells. But in our cauldron, we're gonna put all of our favorite things. So this is a little activity that you can do at home by yourself as well. And then if you do come along next week, you can always bring it along and show us what you've done. So what you will do is just draw out a really simple witch's cauldron. So you can see my example up there. And we're gonna create a magic spell of favorite things. So in your cauldron, you can add anything that you love. So it could be your favorite food, it could be your favorite animal, some of your favorite toys or TV shows, some of the favorite games you like to play. So if you like, you can use some felt tip pens or pencils or crayons and you can just draw into your cauldron or your parent might be able to help you write on the words, the names of some of the things that you like to do. Or like me, you could have a look through some magazines and see if you can find some pictures of your favorite things. So I had a look through and found pictures of these flowers. Nice little Christmas tree there, a Christmas star. Some eggs, it's my favorite food for breakfast and a nice hot drink and a biscuit. So if you decide to do a collage with magazines, you would cut or rip all of those out and then just stick them inside the cauldron um, to decorate it that way. So either draw in, write in, collage and stick in, whatever you'd prefer. We all created a magical spell of favorite things. So it would be great for you to create some at home as well. And let us know how you got on. After that, to finish off, we also created some tiny little pumpkins that we decorated. So here's a few that I've done. And how we did these is we used an apple. So you just grab an apple from the kitchen and cut it in half. Then, if you want to use it just as a template, you will place your apple on the paper and simply draw around your apple. What you get then is a nice little outline, which is what I had for this one here. And then you can just go over that in pen. I've just done a nice little pumpkin face there, but you could decorate it, you could add, add some different colors, uh, whatever you feel like, maybe even grab some uh, pom-poms and glitter, really kind of jazz him up, so however you want to decorate him. Or if you have some paint, what you can do is you can create some little pumpkin prints like these ones here. So there you go. So what you need to do is get a bit of paint. Just move my apple out of the way. So I've got some orange paint here. Just squeeze a little bit more in. And Spread that out in a bowl, dish, you can use a paper plate, whatever you've got at home really. And then you just want to cover the bottom of the pumpkin in paint. So 
give it a good roll around make sure you've got a good amount of paint on there and then fingers crossed you can use that to create some lovely little pumpkin prints so just press down onto the paper and there you have a nice little pumpkin shape so you might want to create a few different ones again maybe use some different colors but i've gone for bright orange here but you can do a few in all your favorite colors and then once the paint has dried a bit you just use a felt tip pen or a marker pen so i've got a sharpie that i used here and finish off decorating them so just to show you again the ones that we did earlier here i've just added a cheeky little pumpkin face or you could go around the outside of the shape before you draw your face on so really it's totally up to you um, just create a few different ones, have a play around um, and see yeah, what kind of prints you can make. So that's what we're up to today for Halloween and hopefully you might be able to join us next week. Um, we'll be posting on here um, some more info about what we'll be doing next Tuesday. All right, thanks for watching.